Hello guys, Luna here and welcome back to another Remnant 2 guide video. In this one we have a bit of a longer one where I'm showing you three different weapons. All will require three different playthroughs, but you get them kind of in the same way. Those weapons are the Nebula, Gas Giant and Spectral Blade. So we'll begin with the Spectral Blade as it's the simplest to explain. The whole quest starts on Nerud and when you first arrive here you have two different versions of the map you can get. The first is the Forgotten Prison, which we will talk about later. The second is Seeker's Rest. At the start of Seeker's Rest, you will find the Seeker's Key, and then you will continue on through here, and you will head through the Phantom Wasteland and speak with the Custodian. Basically, you need to find two more Seeker's Keys, and then you will fight a final boss. This looks important. Need your help from... I am the custodian. This one, it is the only way to save me. I will answer as best. The keys won't be in the same place for everyone, but they're easy to find as they're the areas with the exclamation marks since it's part of the main story. They will be right at the end of the levels after a boss fight. For me, they were in the hatchery and astropath's respite attached to the Timeless Horizon area. Once collected, you can return and open the door in the Phantom Wasteland, and inside you will fight Shahala, Spectral Guardian of Nerud, and once defeated, he will drop the Eidolon Shard. You can take that to Ava to craft the Spectral Blade. So that is one version of Nerud, but there is one other version with two different options for you to play, and that is when starting Nerud and you begin at the Forgotten Prison. At the start of the mission, you can speak to Talratha. He wants you to find a Soul Spark Cylinder, and that will be located in the Eon Vault, usually after completing the hatchery. You have to wander around the Eon Vault to find this underground facility that has the spark inside, and it looks like this. After you have the spark, you can head to the door with exclamation in the Eon Vault, and that is a new entrance to the prison where you can talk with and then fight Talratha. However, there are two different options here, and each option will result in getting a different weapon. And the option is to be eaten or not to be eaten. If you are not eaten, then you will fight Talratha, and he will drop the Spiced Bile, which you can give to Ava to craft Nebula weapon. If you agree to be eaten, then you will fight Talratha's metaphysical version, and once defeated he will drop the acidic jawbone, and that's used to craft the gas giant weapon. So whatever one you pick up, you will need to re-roll Nerud and collect the soul spark cylinder again, and fight the opposite version of Talratha to get both weapons. But fortunately, it doesn't take too long to do that. So guys, that is it for the variations of weapons you can get from the main story by completing Nerud. There are three different possible weapons okay. that will require three playthroughs of Nerud in order to get. The Spectral Blade is the one from Seeker's Rest, and the Gas Giant and Nebula, where you will have to play the prison version twice. So guys, that is it. Another video for weapons. There are a couple of other weapons on Nerud that I am trying to get as well, so make sure to like and subscribe to see more videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.